Hey guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist and today is a continuation of my evolution series. So if you guys want to see the rest of it, I'll have it in the cards up above. But today we're doing Flareon, which should explain one, the background if it ever moved my big head, and two, the actual colors we're using. But before we get to that, the video today is sponsored by me. <laughs> So if you guys want to support the channel, get some cool merch, I have stickers and hoodies and stuff, check the description down below. It's teespring.com slash nobland merch. So without further ado, let's get on to where you're actually here. Yes, I'm having a really, really short curly hair day. Shrinkage is real. So first things first, we're going to start applying a red eyeshadow into the crease. This video is not sponsored by Huda Beauty, but I am using her de Desert Dusk Palette for pretty much everything <laughs> for this one. So if you guys have it, definitely pull it out. If not, there are 8 million and 10 different makeup companies that I'm sure would have one. So if you don't feel like going out and buying something. If you're having trouble blending out eyeshadows though, one thing that you can do is Start off by using a lot less than you think you actually need, blending it out and adding some more. Another thing you can do is try using a fluffier brush. Sometimes that actually helps, which sounds weird, but in practice it actually does work. Or if that's still not working for you, get either a translucent powder or an eyeshadow that's pretty close to your skin color and apply that just over the line of where the shadow is not blending and kind of blend that into it and it'll make it look like it is. I do that a lot. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm too lazy to sit there blending with a brush for eight hours or if like my the shadows that I'm using aren't blending like aren't as blendable as some other ones which let's be honest that could be the case too but I find that that also helps so if you are having issues blending anything out definitely try that now once you have everything blended and blown out at least if you're me you do um, I went ahead and applied a little bit of a darker brown eyeshadow just in the crease part to give myself a little bit more definition um, and also a little bit of drama as my stepmom would put it <laughs> So step two, define the crease. Now fire does have more of an orange tone to it depending on the kind of fire you're looking at. So I kind of cheated and threw in a little bit of orange just on top of the red, almost as a transition shade but not really because it's not really transitioning into anything. I'm just blending it into the red. So yeah, there's that. And that brings us to step three, add some glitter. Now this could have gone way better if I could have found my glitter glue or really any sticky base, anything would have worked. At this point I would have taken tape, um, but I didn't. So these Huda like glitter pigments don't stick as well to a just, I wouldn't say bare eyelid, but a not sticky eyelid. So I wound up with a bunch of glitter fallout, which I kind of knew it was going to happen anyway. Um, so my big tip for anybody who wants to attach glitter anywhere on their eyelids is some glitter glue. Just, just do it. it. It will make your life a lot easier. <laughs> and less messy too. And then just to bring a little bit of brightness to the inner corner, step four, I'm really bad at keeping track, but step four is going to be applying a little bit of highlight in the inner corner. Now I'm not going to lie, since the glitter wasn't working the way I wanted it to, I wanted it to be a little bit more of like a pop. I went back and I applied some of a metallic shadow just over top of it. Something that has a little bit more of a copper orange kind of feel to it. Feel. Look to it. 
and I went ahead and blended everything in together and actually came out a lot better than I was getting by just applying glitter. So because the top is going to be pretty heavy, I wanted to balance it out on the bottom so that same red that we put on the crease on the top, we're going to put that on the lower lash line and then I went in with a little bit of that same orange that I went over top of the crease on the lower lash line as well to kind of keep with the theme. And then I also added a little bit of that matte metallic shade um, that we put on the lid just on the lower lash line just to kind of even it out. I don't, I don't even think that really evened anything out, it just looked nice. Now since this was going to be more of an Arabic eye inspired kind of look, uh, you have to line the inner waterline. So I went ahead and did that and then I applied some liquid liner, giving myself a big old wing and also extending it in the front end of my wing so I kind of gave myself like an exaggerated cat eye. It kind of gives you that more Arab inspired kind of look. So if you guys want more tips and tricks on how to do eyeliner, I'll have the video linked up in the cards once it's out. And the next thing I did was apply some false lashes and mascara. Again, if you guys want a full breakdown on how to apply false lashes, I'll have that linked in the cards as well. Then to give it a little added something, I applied a couple rhinestones, red ones, I got them at Walmart, nothing fancy. Um, my head is out of frame though because I'm awesome. And apparently past Kirsten decided that future people don't need to see me apply those on my face. Hindsight. But that is the finished eye look. So if you guys give me one second, I'll tell you what the color I used. Went in with Dose of Colors. This is not a red. Um, one thing I figured out though after I recorded this is that they don't actually write the name of the lip color on the bottom of the tube. So this is going to be fun trying to figure out what it is. I have to go to Ulta and do swatches and figure out which color it is. I think it started with an M though, but the actual name will be in the description down below. There's an affiliate link if you guys are up for that. If not, you can always Google it, um, but I will leave what I, everything that I use in this video down in the description. It is the finished look, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had fun doing it. Um, I wore it to work and people seem to really like it, so there you go. But if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next, and hit that notification bell so YouTube tells you when I post. And let me know what Pokemon you guys would like to see me do a makeup tutorial based on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!